Let's take a look at how to find the area of a parallelogram when I give you the endpoints of two of the sides. So here we have a parallelogram, and we, I've given you two adjacent sides, PQ and PR, and I tell you what the points PQ and R are. Now, the trick to finding area of parallelogram is to take the magnitude of the cross product of vectors that uh, have the, the point in the direction of the two sides. So the very first thing we're going to need to do here is find the position vectors of the sides PQ and PR. So let's look first at the side PQ. Let's call that vector V, and let's try to find the position vector. So I need to figure out how far I move in the x direction. Well, that I end at 2, and I start at 1, so that's a difference of 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, then in the y direction, I end at 1. I started at 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. And then 4 minus 3, that tells me how far I travel in the z direction. That's also 1. So the vector that corresponds to the side PQ, vector V, is just the vector 1, 1, 1. Okay, next let's look at the side PR. Okay, let's call this vector W. And let's see, we're starting at P and we're ending at R. So 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. Negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. And 2 minus 3 is negative 1 as well. So there's the position vector for W. Next, let's try to actually compute the cross product. So let's do V cross W. This is the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. The first row is I, J, K. Second row is 1, 1, 1, the components of the vector V. And the final row is the components of the vector W, so that would be 2, negative 1, negative 1. We're taking the determinant of that. Okay, so this will be some number of I minus some number of J plus some number of k. The number of i is the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix that I'm um, circling here, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. So I do 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1, minus 1 times negative 1, negative 1. Negative 1 minus negative 1 is 0. All right. The coefficient that I put in front of the j here, well, I look at 1, negative 1, that's negative 1, minus 1 times 2, 2, Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So this becomes plus 3j, minus negative 3j, plus 3j. And then finally for k, I look at the 1, 1, 2, negative 1 square right here. I do 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. 1 times 2 is 2, and I do negative 1 minus 2, that's negative 3. All right, so that's the vector. That, correspond, that, that is the cross product vector. So if I write it in component form, that would be 0, comma, 3, comma, negative 3. But that's not the area of a parallelogram. That's a vector. The area is going to be the magnitude of that vector. The area will be the magnitude of V cross W, which is the square root of 0 squared plus 3 squared plus, well, negative 3 squared. Okay, 0 squared is 0, 3 squared is 9, negative 3 squared is also positive 9. So this is the square root of 9 plus 9, or 18. And that's the area of the parallelogram. All right, area of the parallelogram, as simple as finding the cross product of the two vectors and then taking the magnitude. Hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.